Samuel, have you? No, I've never left the United States. Are of America. you scared? I've only came into the United States of America. Mm. From Korea? Yeah. Me too, brother. Right on. Right on, right on. You want to go to the water slide? No, Luke, because every place in America and around the world has a water slide. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to play some puck after this. That That's not Canadian yeah, yeah. accent. No. Hey? No, that's Want to play some puck, eh? No, you... You're just a bender, just buddy. Just stop. Just stop. What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you go down below this video and click on that subscribe button. As you can tell, me, Sam, who's in the back now, he's been driving all morning, so shout out to him for driving most of the way. And then we also have John here. As you can tell, he's kind of being dumb already, but that's just John. But we did arrive in Canada about an hour and a half ago, and I'm super pumped. This is the first time I have been hunting in Canada, and I'm super excited to be up here and hunting. But we have about six hours of our drive left and we are gonna be going up and meeting with Jeremy from 780 Outdoors. We were actually supposed to go on this trip last year, but with the COVID stuff and everything going on last year, we just didn't make it happen. So now we rescheduled and we are making it up here this year and we are super excited. And we're gonna hopefully shoot some ducks earlier than we ever have. But what we got going on right now, John said Timmy Hortons is like what you have to get when you're in Canada for Stable. breakfast. Apparently it's like super gas. So then we're gonna finish our drive out here, meet up with Jeremy, do a little bit of scouting tonight, and hopefully get on a good hunt in the morning. Welcome Tim Hortons, what can I get for you? All right, can I please get a maple bacon classic bagel melt belt, please? And then? Uh, I'll do a everything bagel, please. And then, could I get a, a medium coffee with sugar and cream? And then... Could I do a maple bacon farmer's wrap? And then... Oh, and sorry, that, that last coffee was not, it was just a, a medium regular. And then... And then, could I get a hash brown with that too? And then... Or just a, okay, never mind, sorry about that. Uh, can I just do an iced tea? What is that, Sam? A chocolate dip donut, and it's not that good. What's the What would you rate that out of ten? Four. It, four? It's what? Pretty stale, bro. It's like really dry. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. This is this is very good. I don't think that's the speed limit. Did you guys see Forrest Carpenter fly over the interstate right there? That was pretty sick. All right, you guys. Well, as you can see behind me here, we are in beautiful Alberta, Canada right now. And we just met up with our buddy, Jeremy from 780 Outdoors, who we will introduce you to here real quick. But right now we are out scouting and it's just about prime time for these birds to start getting up and coming out to the fields to feed. And Jeremy luckily right now has about four or five fields that he has been looking at and watching that are already producing some decent feeds and have a decent amount of birds feeding in them. So we came to this first field that is a cut pea field. There's a lot of cut pea fields up here in Canada and the birds really target them because from what Jeremy is saying, these pea fields, there's a lot of feed that that gets dropped from the combines and it's really easy picking for these birds to come into these fields and feed in here. But we rolled up on the first field and there's probably four or 500 plus geese in this, Canada's, and there is also a mix of some snows in there and ducks and it is just absolutely loading up right now. There's just a huge group of ducks headed towards the field right now. But we're gonna put the long lens on here. I'm gonna show you guys the feeds. We're gonna drive around a little bit tonight and do a little more scouting. I'll let you guys know a little bit more information here while we're scouting and just kind of show you guys the scenery, all the birds and at the feeds that we're looking at. But for now, we'll go over, introduce you to Jeremy quick, and then we're gonna get going here and keep scouting tonight. 
So, this is Jeremy. What's up? With 780 Outdoors. You might have seen some of his yep. videos up here in Canada. But if you guys want to check his channel out, that will be linked down in the description below this video. Yeah. All right, so I'm not sure how good you guys can see, but that whole side of the field is just stacked up with a few snows and a lot of Canada's. And the feed just goes right over the hill. There's a decent amount of ducks going in there right now, but there's a decent amount of birds in the field right now. They pretty much just started coming to the field, so there's also birds in the air coming at us that are coming straight to this field as well. There is one small problem with this field. There is shared permission, so Jeremy has permission on this pea field, and there is another group that has permission, and the farmer's not really sure when they're gonna hunt or what their plan is, so we are gonna have to find another field just for a backup. We'll maybe try to come here in the morning, and if the other hunters are here, then we'll probably end up going to a different field. But this is a good first field to look at. Lots of birds, and we're gonna keep looking for a few more here. Moments later. I have a feeling though that someone else is probably hunting. Just looking in here, seeing the camera points at Oh, that one. And it's. I never got shot. It's just Hongs. It's just Hongs. Alright, we good. We good? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, let's go. One for one in Canada? We can't drive in it though. Because oh, of the club route. Yeah. But like it's an option if we wanted to walk. Okay. All right, well, we just, uh, we rolled up on like the third field of the night that we were looking at. That's the field that you guys just saw a clip of some geese sitting out there. And Jeremy's like, yeah, I've talked to this guy. He usually doesn't let anyone hunt, but if you want to go up there and try to ask, you can. And I was like, screw it, pull in there. I'll go try to talk to him and see if we can hunt. So I went up there and we got a yes to go out there and hunt. We can't drive in the field because of the club route. It kind of like takes over the field. It's kind of a nasty weed that'll take over the field and destroy the crops. So we have to walk, but luckily the birds are literally like 100, 150 yards from his house where we can park. So it's definitely an option. We might hunt this one tomorrow morning or Sunday, but it's a good option we got permission on so we're gonna keep driving around here see if we can find anything else and uh like keep looking for birds but so far so good are you surprised i got a yes jamie <laughs> that's a, yeah that's ballsy man you did good out <laughs> <laughs> of boy Show yep just right there it's all some sort of drink 100 <laughs> percent i've been seeing quite a few ducks go west too even if you just get good for like trees and pools and stars. All right, so the birds that we have been watching right now that you guys have been seeing are at the field that I got permission on. We ended up coming back to this one because the first field that we looked at at the beginning of the video, someone else, those other hunters that had permission are planning on hunting that in the morning. So we decided to give them that field if they wanna hunt it in the morning and we decided to come to one of our other options and this happens to be the best option that we have. It turns out that there's a ton of geese and ducks in the other field right to the east of us here as well which is the same landowner so there's a ton of birds in this area um, we're kind of just figuring out what we are going to do in the morning this field like I said we have to walk in and Jeremy's buddy also has a couple of other options for us so we're just trying to decide what we want to do exactly here and figure out a game plan for the morning but we're gonna sit at this field watch the rest of these birds get out and then we're gonna decide what we're doing in the morning I will update you guys one more time here before the night is over and then hopefully in the morning we can get on on some birds all right well me and John and Sam he's in the bathroom I don't know what he's doing in there we probably don't want to know we made it back to the hotel this is where we're staying John booked us a uh, bougie best western hotel only the best for you sweet cheeks but the hot tub doesn't work so that's kind of cheeks the final decision was we're gonna try to hunt one of Jeremy's buddy's fields that he found. There was about 250 geese and like 200 ducks in it when he was watching it tonight. And a field next to it is gonna get cut and they're afraid that the birds from this field are gonna jump into the fresh cut one in the next couple of days. So they wanna shoot that field and just kind of get that hunt over with before it's too late since the birds are in there. So we figured that was the best decision since that field I got permission on. We have until Sunday, so we can hunt that Sunday morning or possibly tomorrow evening if things don't work 
workout in the morning. But we're gonna try to get some sleep here, wake up nice and early, grab some breakfast, head to the field, set the spread, and we will get back to you guys in the morning. Are you excited for tomorrow? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna be able to sleep. You know what they say? Find the peas, find the ducks. Dude, we're gonna get him this morning. <laughs> oh man, so excited. All right, well, as you guys can tell, we arrived to the field that we are going to be hunting this morning. And we're just pulling some decoys out right now. We got a couple of the blinds out in the field. We're just figuring out what we're gonna do for a setup and starting to throw some decoys out. So we're gonna get going here, set decoys out, get all the blinds ready, and we will see you guys very soon. Hey, should we help him or just keep filming? Nope, I pay him to do this for me. All right, so we're just getting some decoys set out here. Me and Sam just grabbed a huge roll of stubble. It's actually super nice out here. Jeremy was worried about how short this pea stubble can get and how sometimes it's hard to hide in this stuff. But this field luckily is cut a little bit longer. And there's actually like roads. It's like a mat of pea stubble that goes across this whole field. And me and Sam were able to just tear it up and roll it into like a huge stubble burrito. So we literally have a massive pile of stubble already. But I just want to take one minute to show you guys the Dive Bomb Industries kickback layout chair that me, Sam, and John are going to be running. So pretty much, if you guys have not seen this on the channel, these things are super nice, convenient, lightweight, and easy to use. Pretty much you got your back straps. These are super easy to pack in, super small and lightweight. You got one clip on the top. You can unclip that, fold it back just like this. You got armrests if you want those up. If you're a smaller guy and can fit in between those, you pop the armrest up like that. And then there's multiple settings on the back. You can click that up as high as you like. I like to run it about in the middle when we're out in the fields like this in short fields, but for different stuff that you're doing, you can adjust the back height. In some of the other videos, you guys saw us running different covers or different ghillie blankets, but this is actually the Dive Bomb Industries blanket that I just received in the mail and this thing looks freaking sweet. So pretty much it's rolled up nice and tight here. It's got two clips on it. You're gonna unclip this sucker, roll it out, unfold it, just like that. That thing looks good. And you pretty much have this huge ghillie blanket covering you on your layout chair. And then you also have some nice stubble straps and these are actually elastic on the Dive Bomb Industry blankets. So when you put stubble in here, you can actually stretch them out to get your stubble in and then they'll tighten back up a little bit. Not like a lot of the other straps where you gotta fight with them and there is no stretch to them. So if you guys wanna check out any of the Dive Bomb Industry stuff in today's video, make sure you go down below this video in the description and click that link down below. All right, well, we're finally set up. Me and the boys here are getting comfy in our kickbacks. These ghillie blankets are actually pretty freaking warm. It's like a real blanket on you, so that's kind of nice. It is a little chilly this morning, which is very nice because we planned on it being pretty hot, hotter than we expected, but the weather's really nice. We got a little bit of a wind here this morning. It was out of the south, and then it switched to out of the north. Classic. We got a few dozen mallard decoys out, and then we got three spinning wings in front of us and about seven or eight dozen Canada decoys. So it is shooting time right now. We have a few ducks already buzzing us and hopefully we can shoot some birds this morning. What do you think, Jeremy? Are we gonna get them? I think so. I'm excited, dude. It's a uh, lot, I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now, yeah. which if we were back home, we'd be in t-shirts and sweating and getting mauled by mosquitoes, which we still get mauled by mosquitoes at some point in time. Dude, at least it's nice and cold though. It feels a lot, I like the Northern weather. Also, this is Kevin, he's the other one that was scouting last night, so shout out to him for finding this field. This field is kind of rolly, so 
kind of nice being down in this dip here. We got our blinds in the low spot here and then a hill in front of us and kind of another hill behind us here. And the decoys are just kind of ran up onto the top of the hill. Hopefully the birds are all going to come from that way and we can shoot some. Ready boys? Yo! Huh? <laughs> Good shooting, boys! Bro, how did that feel? They did it so good. That was nice. I didn't even shoot. Those came out of nowhere. I was like messing with my camera trying to figure out like the focus stuff and they just came right in. That was, that was just perfect. a poof. This field tonight and saved Luke's field that we found last night. And uh, Kevin was scouting this last night. He was nice enough Big to There you go, Jeremy. Huge shout out to Kevin. For Let's go, baby! I'm gonna run the big camera for you guys a little bit just so we can get some good footage here. I'm gonna hold off on the shooting and then maybe later in the day if it gets really good, I'll pick the gun up and try to shoot a couple myself. But so far, so good. The first birds are down and we are not skunked here in Alberta. So, so far, so good. Come on, keep crawling. Ready? Should we do them? They sat right on the other side right here. Well, sit up and try it. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Two and one. See these, Bubba? Oh yeah. Good work, helmet man. That's what we came here for, man. That is what we Brown came here ducks, for. Baby. That was sexy. You they like that low. three pack? <laughs> <laughs> Some specs, some specs, some specs. Get ready on the specs. Coming hot, boys. Ready? Go! <laughs> yes! No, boys! Yes, baby! Let's go! Bag, boys. All right, well, I was trying to focus in on the Canada's coming, and then all of a sudden we just heard specs ripping in. And the boys cleaned up all four birds, so... This is freaking awesome so far. Great morning. <laughs> Boys, look at the ducks. Here we go, guys. Ducks We're gonna do the ducks if they come. Mm -hmm. Talk to them. We're gonna do it. Get ready, boys. <laughs> All right, well, we had a, we had a few specks coming again, and they didn't really want it. They kind of flared off of us, the spinning wings or something, and then we had a group of ducks come in, and those things were hauling into here. The boys cleaned a few ducks up, so this is getting good. Birds are starting to fly, and this is awesome. Flare across this. Oh, we, they're going to do a pass. Yeah. You got that one right by you. <laughs> Go on, boys. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's well, the boys are shooting this morning. <laughs> I think we might have to start shooting soon. You think yeah. a Dude, that's gnarly, bro. <laughs> they're, they're that is doing gnarly. it greasy. They are fishing very close, but f it. Sorry. <laughs> That's dope, bro. That's, That's dope. a nice There's still one more specimen out there. Sorry, guys. All right, well, we were just picking birds up, and pretty much the whole roost way over there is up for whatever reason. You want to do the duck? We got heavies coming pretty good. Oh, let's do the ducks. Do the ducks? Yep. I think we'll even do one more. Well, Man, I hate that. Look at this Oh my oh god. What? 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 
Dude, did you see those ducks right away oh, too? Yeah, that was greasy. Oh my gosh. All right, well my plan was to shoot, but then John picked the gun up and I just couldn't put the big camera down for you guys. It's a little tough right away. This is the first time this season that I've really ran the big camera, honestly. So getting used to the manual focus and getting back into things here has been a little tough. So I apologize for the clips that haven't been right in focus or a little bit shaky, but it's gonna get better as the season goes on and I'm trying my best for you guys. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> it's gonna come hot, boys. Let him go one more. more. <laughs> Three, honkers. Three honkers coming right here. Here we go, Thanks for holding off on my ears. Nice shot. Nice. That was a good shot. You're wrapping them. Wait for the big group. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh god. They're coming hot though. First pass. Dude, that's hot. I I might have clapped a couple of. Another 10 pack out front left. The tent is pitched. <laughs> oh god. Right side, right side. Ready? Yep. Go him up! Oh, dude, I Watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Well, I actually hit boys. something. That was not bad for my first duck of the year. What the <laughs> we got some shooters oh out here my today. Goodness, dude. This, is, this is too much fun. Shells, boys. Shells, boys. Shells. <laughs> that was nice. Dude, they just yeah, banged dude, perfect. Bro. Oh my god. That, oh my gosh. That was nice. You know, last night we couldn't really like decide what we wanted to hunt for a field, but. <laughs> This isn't a bad choice. They're gonna wait now, I'm gonna let them. You know what? Kill them! Kill them! Well, they are dead. <laughs> we got shooters today. <laughs> Kill him, boys. I shot Luke. Oh. We gotta come around again, though. The top five are doing it. You ready? Yep. Fire him, boys. Nice shot right there, Sam. The oh my god, dude. So much there's so much going on right now. It's like hard to it's like you wanna shoot specs, you wanna shoot geese, you wanna shoot ducks. Like you literally get a choice of what you wanna do right that's now. That's a bad problem to have. Oh yeah, that sucks. When they're landing like five feet from the blind. There we go. Oh god. I missed the easy shot right away, then I had to go back to it. Ah, then I had no more shells. Yeah. Kill him, boys. Nice. Wow. 
There we go. Look at the puff of <laughs> Yep, that is a good big, sign when you see that. Right. I don't know if they're coming this way, though. Here we go. No? 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 Two. <laughs> it was like, oh, I'm gonna shoot. We were all right, so we only needed a few more ducks here, so I haven't shot too much at all at ducks, so I decided to pull the gun up on that one, and so did John, I believe. But we only need a couple more ducks. We got two out of that flock there, as you saw, and I think we only need a couple more, so we're gonna do a good walk around the field, make sure there's no ducks laying in this stuff, and get an exact count on what we need. But so far, so good. It's still early. Like, we've probably been hunting for maybe an hour, and we're almost limited on our ducks, and we still need a few geese, but this has been amazing so far. Jeremy, this sucks, don't it? Shells, boys! <laughs> well, the boys are doing a walk around, and we just got ducks trying to come into us right now. There's no shortage of birds. Look at this. We need another duck? No. <laughs> 40 ducks oh, by seven. Heavies, boys, heavies, come on. Look at all these heavies. Okay, we have geese coming. We're done on ducks, by the way. These two are gonna die. What do you want? Get ready. Let's go. You ready on these five? Kill him, boys. Nice. Good shooting. Nice. Nice. Oh, Very good shooting, guys. <laughs> Very good shooting. We're up. Man, these are heavy. All right, so we did a little bird count here. We're getting our limits piled up. We do need one more duck. So we're at 39 ducks, and then John's out there cleaning up a few, and I think we're at 21 geese. So we still have a decent amount of geese left to shoot. I believe we can have 40 geese. So we're a little over halfway to our limit of geese. And it is 725. So this has been like not even an hour and a half of shooting time. I think shooting time was 608 or something like that. So I would say it's going pretty good. All right, well, we are just wrapping up here. Things kind of slowed down. We ended up with 39 ducks and 31 honkers. So it was an absolutely great morning. Once again, big shout out to Jeremy here from 780 Outdoors for taking us out this morning. And hopefully we can get on a couple more hunts while we're here. We're still here for two days, but for the first hunt, I would say this was an absolute banger. Also, if you want to check Jeremy's stuff out, once again, his Instagram or YouTube, that's going to be linked down below this video. So make sure you guys check Jeremy out and watch his videos throughout the season because he's not going to be here for just two hunts. He's going to be uh, videoing that stuff this whole season. So once again, thank you. You're welcome, man. That was a banger. Great and I'm looking forward to the next two days. We this got was two amazing. More, two more hunts, man. Yeah, I'd say that was pretty good for our oh, first hunt. Great hunt, man. Great hunt. Also... Big shout out to Kevin for finding the field. No, Thank you, sir. No problem. That was a good one, and I love the footwear. <laughs> what are those? What are, what are those? But that is going to wrap this video up for today's hunt. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below this video and click that like button, and we will see you all on the next hunt. See ya! See ya!